This is the connect on bliss. So uh, this is our Be The Change segment where we like to shine the spotlight on amazing individuals who are doing you know phenomenal things in the community. And we got a gentleman in the studio who um, just fits this bill perfectly. So we have in the studio today Damon Jones of the nonprofit STEAM America. So Damon, uh, definitely welcome to the connect today. Hey, thanks for having me. No doubt. So like another initiative going on SOCKS, and SOCKS stands for So Others Can Keep Striding. Can you yes, kind of talk to the listeners about how this piece came about? It, it came about completely and totally organically. I had recently joined a church in the area, okay. and they sponsored a homeless shelter, so they would turn their church into a homeless shelter once a month in the, in the winter months. I was really anxious to kind of give back to the church because yeah. I was a new member, and so I just volunteered to spend the night. Um, and that night, the gentleman spoke quite a bit about socks, and it really kind of resonated with me. In the morning when I woke up, it the, really the idea literally just kind of came to me in the flash, so others can keep striding. And I was like, oh my goodness, that stands for socks, and right. it was just there. Um, yeah, yeah. So I guess when you think of homeless people in perspective, in terms of giving back, you may think of money, you may think of clothing or other tangible items. Why, I guess, pray tell, why socks? Why, what was so special, specific about, about socks? Yeah, I definitely would think that too. <laughs> I would think that money, shelter, food would right. be the, 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 the dominant factors in the conversation. But socks were because basically the way the gentleman described it, their primary mode of transportation was their feet. And so if, you're, if your socks are, are wet or if you don't have the proper socks, um, it makes your just day-to-day -day life that much more difficult. It's much easier actually to get a free sandwich than it is a free pair of socks. Wow. And, and if you think about it, most of the drives that you hear about are blanket drives, coat drives, shoe drives, and things of that nature. So this is a definitely a powerful movement and we want to definitely put you out there. So in terms of getting you connected to our listeners, you know, how can our listeners connect to you either via social media or any other method? Oh, oh yes, please connect. We need all the help that we can get uh, via social media. We're on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at the Sox Movement. So Twitter at the Sox Movement, Instagram at the Sox Movement, and Facebook slash Sox Movement. Um, if you want to give us a call, we're at 301-836-1105. That's 301-836-1105. Eight three six one one zero five, or you can reach out to us via email at socksmovement at gmail .com. And I just want to say, kind of before we wrap up, that you know personally, we need all of the positivity that we can get. And I just want to salute you for what you're doing because you're you're reaching out in a way that's definitely making a difference in our community. Thank you, my brother. I I, I consider it an honor um, to carry this mantle. I think that God gave me, and so I, I'm I'm blessed by your words. And thank you for your encouragement. No doubt, Damon Jones of Steam America. Again, thanks for stopping by today. Thank you, my brother. Thank you for having before, me. Before I let you get out here, Damon, you yes, have sir. a goal for this year, right? Have yes, sir. Many socks that you're Absolutely. To Our goal for this year is 4,000 pair of socks collected. Oh, and thanks to everyone who donated in 2014. Our goal was 1,000 pair of socks, and we exceeded that. We collected 1,167 pair of socks, and so thank you to everyone, and we're looking to exceed, hopefully, our goal for this year as well. So how can people uh, go about donating? Is it specific, like, drop-off location or <coughs> doing, like, some events in the area? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great question. Um, they can visit our website for more information about how to donate. Um, what we're doing this year is we're sponsoring socks boxes. So we'll drop off a box where people can, if you have a business or a, um, a church or something, a school, okay. people can come by and just drop the socks off at the box and we'll come and pick it up. Okay. If you're a church or a school and you want to host a socks drive, um, that's another option for you. And also you can just you can actually just buy the socks if you want and send them to our PO box, which is on our website at socksmovement.org. Cool. Um, and just like Al said, we definitely appreciate the, you know, the work that you're doing uh, with both the STEM and the, and the SOX movement because, you know, everything is needed. Um, I know Al works well with, uh, you know, works in the, with the group trying to get more male teachers and um, more, more men involved in school. So um, I salute just, you for just, that. just um, on your end, I, I definitely commend that. Last week when I saw it, I was like, what's the SOX thing that's following me on Instagram? <laughs> or whatever it was. So I looked at it, I was like, yo, we got to get them on. I was trying to get them, get them that day, like last last Sunday, I think it was. So, yes, sir. Um, but so I'm glad you were able to uh, make it out this week. So I am welcome um, to. Definitely um, shout out the, the social media one more time and your website. Absolutely. On Instagram, we're at Sox Movement, Twitter, Sox Movement, Facebook slash Sox Movement. And um, you can call us also at 836-1105, area code 301. Cool. Mr. Damon Jones, this is your boy Will Jadis. We're going to take a quick break and come back. We're going to get into some hot topics.